Hi, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'll be cutting butterfly crown. Butterfly crown. Measurement I'm using is my shoulder. And my shoulder length is uh, measurement is 18 inches. 18 inches. So this is this is my 18 inches. So I will mark my my neckline. The neckline, the front and back neckline. I'm using is four. I will mark my four inches. This is my four inches. I will use front and back neckline at the same measurement. So I've marked my four inches. So you can see it, guys. I've marked my four inches. So this is my four inches. I've marked my four inches. The depth is six inches. Front and back neckline are the same measurement. This is like so. I'll, I'll curve it. So I'll curve it very well. So I'll curve it. Hope you can see me. See it very well. So I'll go ahead to curve it. So I'll take my ample measurement. Because it's a mature woman, I wouldn't want it to be tight for her. So I'll use I will use 10 inches. So let me bring it here. I'll mark 10 inches. This is my 10. Look, you can see it, guys. So this is my 10 inches. So I'll mark my 10 inches. Sorry okay, guys, so I want to people to see very well. So I'll mark my 10 inches. This is my 10 for the armhole. For the armhole. This is my 10. So my boss measurement. So I wouldn't really want to be too to tight her. Her boss measurement is 41. 41 divided by 2 is 20.5 inches. So my 20, I will use 20. Then divide by 4 is 10.5. This is my 10.5. So I'll add, I'll mark my 10.5. Hope you can see it, guys. This is my 10.5. Her waist measurement is 41. This is her waist. How do how you determine your waist? Your waist, you measure from your arm, you measure seven. And depending if the person, your client is taller, you can measure eight or seven. So I measure seven, this is seven. So how much for measurement is 41? So 41 divided by four is 10.5. So I'll measure my 10.5. This is my 10.5. Plus one inch is to easy. So don't want it to be tight. So to determine her waist, the starter measurement for you to determine your waist, you know where you mark your your sorry, your hip is ten. So you can use nine. Because she's not tall, I will use nine. I will use nine. Okay. So her new measurement is nine. This is nine from waist to how to determine your weight, your hip measurement as as a beginner. Nine depending on the height of the person, your client. I'm using nine. If your client is a person that is taller, you can take ten. So her hip measurement is forty. Forty three. So forty three. 43 divided by 2 is 21.5. So divide by 2. So let me, I will be marking 11 inches. 
11 inches because she will want it to be tight so bit close I will, my one inch then I will take it down I will take it down so this is it now this is my my hip measurement this is my hip measurement so I will take it down to the hemline the hemline hope you understand guys So I will take it on to the hemline. So this is my hemline. Take it down to the hemline. Sorry, guys. So take it down. Look, you can see it, guys. To the hemline. So this is my hemline. So what I'm going to do is that I'll go to my sewing machine. I'll go to my sewing machine right now. So guys, I will cut out the neckline. I'm going to cut out the neckline. The front and back neckline are the same measurement. I hope you can see it. I'll cut out the neckline. Okay, I will cut it out. The front and back neckline are the same measurement. And I will use bias to finish it up. So I will go to my sewing machine. I will just sew the neckline. Then then I will sew through all this. I sew it straight. So you can see it, guys. So I will stitch it straight. Then I will come back to show you the finishing part.